Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your GoDaddy website builder and more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add a new product into your GoDaddy website builder store? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you need to add a product into your GoDaddy website builder store anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business selling products, you know that sometimes you come out with new inventory or new products and you need to add it into your store, whatever the case is it's a pretty easy process it's handled here in your godaddy account check my video description i'll try to leave the written instructions there as well but i've already logged into my daddy account and this is the home screen now here on the home screen if you want to go ahead and add a new product into your godaddy store here on the top right you're going to click on my products once you do that you're going to see this drop down menu and just scroll down until you see this section websites and marketing. Once you click there, you want to go ahead and choose the website that's housing your store. You can see I just have this one website and off to the right, you want to click on manage. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to see this drop down menu here on the left and you want to click on this button here called commerce. Once you do that, you're going to see another drop down menu and click on products. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see all the products that you have inside of your GoDaddy website builder store. You can see I don't have any. However, to add a new product, click right here, add product. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and add a new product. So you can choose, is it a physical product or a digital product? Name the product. So let's say this is just a YouTube console. Here you can go ahead and add the price, say $9.99. And here we can go ahead and add a sales price if you want. So maybe we're doing this for $5.99 right now. And that way it shows up as it was previously $9.99, but they're getting it for $5.99. Product category, you can go ahead and add a category if that's relevant for your business. And down here, is this a private product or do you want it visible on your store? Generally, I'm gonna have it visible. And then here we can go ahead and add a product description. One month consult YouTube channel. Okay. And then here you can go ahead and add an image if you want. So add image. I'm going to use these little tacos and then insert. Okay. Now we have an image and we're just going to scroll down. Okay. Now, if this is some sort of a digital product, you can set it up that they automatically receive it once they make the payment. So digital add file, and then you can just save the PDF. Okay. So let me go ahead and save this product. Okay. Now it's saved. Let me go back. Okay. Now you're going to see this pop up and let me go back here. All products. Okay. So as you can see, we have now added a product into our GoDaddy website builder store. And this is what it looks like. It's going to appear for $9.99 with a discount. So now it's only $5.99. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to add a new product into your GoDaddy website builder store, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.